वेलकम टू वीक सेवन लेक्चर फोर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ लेक्चर फोर आर टू नो ट्रेनिंग प्रिंसिपल एप्लीकेशन इन पावर प्रोग्राम डिजाइन टू नो डिफरेंट स्टिम्यूलेशन टू अप्लाई फॉर अ पावर इंप्रूवमेंट टू नो जनरल गाइडलाइंस फॉर पावर प्रोग्राम डिजाइन द आउटकम ऑफ लेक्चर फोर इज टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट डिजाइन अ पावर प्रोग्राम so you apply the concepts of gas principle in power program designing by first recollecting what are the different stimulations you can give if the aim is to increase your muscular power and these are start starting speed speed strength strength speed and maximal strength you can refer the same stimulation type covered in the anaerobic training method of week 4 where each of this stimulation type is explained in detail with example of exercises to touch base on each type of stimulation a starting speed stimulation has an intensity of 0% of 1 rm and the velocity of the movement is greater than 1.5 meter per second the drills and exercise that incorporate starting speed are plyometric exercises you improve power output with respect to improving your stretch shortening cycle improving your impulse and improving your ground contact time so this are the ultimate outcome and adaptation you get when you use starting speed type of stimulation so speed strength is characterized by intensity of 20 to 60% of 1 rm which is moved at a velocity greater than 1 to 1.3 meter per second most of the balletic exercise are considered as can be considered as speed strength stimulation speed strength stimulation is characterized by low weights moved at moderate to high velocity strength speed on other hand incorporates sub maximal weight moved with moderate to low velocity here the weight lifted is a little heavier in between 65 to 85 percent of 1 rm so the velocity of movement is a little slow in between 0.75 to 1 meter per second and the exercise that can be that corresponds to strength speed is heavy balletic exercise and semi balletic exercises now maximal strength incorporates lifting maximal weight moved at a very low velocity the weight ranges from 85% to 100% of 1 rm and the movement of the velocity is in between 0.5 to 0.75 velocity meter per second all non balletic exercise relate to maximal strength stimulation the second concept to apply in program design is principle of specificity relating to power fitness what demand you give to improve your power fitness you demand your muscles to generate sub maximal internal force at low to high velocity that is the demand you provide through balletic semi balletic light balletic and heavy balletic exercises in against to this demand your muscles will adapt by increasing its ability to produce force at higher velocity which ultimately improves your power capacity as a general guidelines you should be using the mix model for the improvement of power if you have little to no experience in power training so what it means is starting strength speed strength strength speed and maximal strength 
so these are the different types of stimulation that you can use to improve the power output or muscular power a mixed model means that you can use a maximal strength or starting speed within a workout or you can use a speed strength strength speed or starting speed in one workout or you can use an ascending order uh, of exercise sequence your ascending order represents the ascending order of force generation it means the first exercise for example starting speed the force generation is less the second exercise the force generation is little higher in strength speed it is much more higher and in maximal strength it is the highest so this is an example of ascending order of mixed model so if you choose an ascending order of mixed model of power training you will have four different stimulation within a workout but starting with plyometric exercises followed by light ballistic exercises followed by heavy ballistic exercises and semi ballistic exercises followed by non ballistic sorry uh, non ballistic exercises so this is an example of ascending order mixed model power training same can be done in a descending order here the order represents the force generation capacity so you start by maximal strength and then you end with starting speed so you can incorporate mixed model if you have little to no experience in power training in this manner the second general guidelines in power program design is you use cluster set to maintain a high power output throughout the exercise the ultimate demand that you are creating in your musculoskeletal system is to generate force at a higher velocity so the aim in every reps and every exercise of power drill is to maintain a high power outcome output and this can be achieved using something called as a cluster set which is defined which has a format template of total reps you performed for an exercise reps per cluster number of cluster per set number of cluster per set and rest between the repetition let's take an example you plan to do 10 repetition of a light ballistic exercise or total of 10 repetition but you do not have a capacity to maintain high output for all the 10 repetition so what you do you use a cluster set so you choose two reps per cl per cluster so after every two reps so you try to maintain the high power output for two repetition so after two repetition you wait for 10 seconds so that way because you plan to do 10 repetition for one for a given exercise and there are two repetition in one cluster a total of five sets cluster sets you would be implementing to complete 10 repetition that's how you can use a cluster set to maintain a high power output for every reps throughout the exercise throughout the sets throughout the workout so in summary there are multiple ways to give stimulation for a muscular power gain use mix model to improve power fitness if you have little to no experience in power development use cluster set to maintain a high power outcome for every reps of exercise thank you